guys, welcome back to Storytime. Today we're going to read Sleepy the Goodnight Betty by Drew Daywalt. Roderick hated going to bed. Each night he would think of every possible excuse to try to stay up longer. Sometimes he would ask for another story. Sometimes he'd ask for a drink of water. Sometimes he'd ask for a pony. He never got a pony, but that's okay, because he didn't really want one. He just wanted to stay up, even if it was just to hear all the reasons why he couldn't have a pony. And there were a lot of reasons. We don't have a barn. Ponies won't use a litter box. Ponies hog the bed. Ponies watch the TV too loud. Ponies never do dishes. Ponies eat toys. Ponies borrow books and never return them. Ponies blah, 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 blah. But he would always ask for something, anything, just to stay up a little bit longer. Roderick's parents decided to get him a good night buddy to help him sleep. He couldn't decide whether it looked more like a moose or more like a bear. His name is Sleepy, said his mother. He's your good night buddy, said his father. He's going to help you fall asleep. That night, Roderick's parents put Sleepy in bed with him, but Sleepy kept staring at him. Roderick decided to hide Sleepy. He tried stashing him on the bookshelf, behind the curtains, and even under his pillow. But no matter where Roderick put him, he could feel Sleepy looking at him. Finally, Roderick picked him up and tossed him into the closet. Wait, said a quiet little voice from the darkness. Don't leave me alone in here. You're alive? Of course I'm alive. I couldn't very well talk if I weren't alive, could I? Well, why didn't you talk earlier instead of just staring at me like that? I was too scared. Of what? Of you. You were staring at me all freaky looking. That's because you freaked me out. I was only staring at you all freaky looking because you were staring at me all freaky looking. See? You're doing it again. You're freaking me out. You're supposed to be my good night, buddy. You're supposed to help me sleep, you know. I am? Yes. Oh, okay. Can I please have a glass of water? What? But it's bedtime. I know, but I'm thirsty. And then we can go to sleep, I promise. Thanks for the water. You're welcome, Sleepy. I don't think you're that freaky looking anymore. That's nice. I don't think you are either. Now go to sleep. I can't. Why not? I have to pee. You know, from all the water. So go. I'm scared to go all alone. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what? I forgot to brush my teeth. Can I have a story? That always puts me to sleep. I can't sleep without one. One day in class, Duncan went to take out his crayons and found a stack of letters with his name on them. Can I have one more? Just one, please. I promise that's all I need. Once upon a time, there was a witch with a very big butt. In fact, it was so big that when she... Your closet is scary. There's a witch in it with a big butt. Can you check the closet for witches? There are no witches in the closet. Ugh, fine, yes. Check for witches, sure. Can I have a snack? A snack? It's the middle of the night. I know, but I'm hungry. Oh, no. Now what? I have to brush my teeth again. It's too dark in here. Now it's too bright. What? What what? What do you mean what what? You know darn well what what? You're going to ask me for something else. What do you want now? I wasn't going to ask you for anything, but... Now I can't sleep because you're mad at me. I'm not mad. You sound mad. 
That sounds like you're mad. I'm not mad, just tired. Okay, I'm a little mad, but mostly I'm tired. Well, I can't sleep even if you're a little mad. Then I'm not mad. I don't know. That still sounds mad. I need my blankie. You don't have a blankie. Can I have a blankie? Good night, Roderick. Good night, Sleepy. I know you're going to hate me for saying this, but does this pillow seem too hard to you? It seems really hard. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Yeah, maybe it's just me. You ever wonder what it all means? I mean, are we just puppets living out some master puppeteer's plan or... Sleepy, it's time for bed. Now go to sleep. I'm sorry, Roderick. I guess I'm just not a very good good night buddy. Are you kidding? You're the worst good night buddy ever. You're supposed to take my mind off scary things and help me sleep. But instead, you're just exhausting me. Roderick? Hey, Roderick? Good night, buddy. That was a good one, guys. That was so funny. I love stories by Drew Daywalt. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you guys have any requests, put them in the comments below, okay? I'll see you guys again soon.